Hop it in, welcome to KO News Extra. I'm your host, Jonagan Charfris. Thanks so much for tuning in. Tonight, we're talking about GTA's Youth Leader Program. Here's more. First off, thank you so much for taking the time out to sit down with me and tell me more about this um, exciting Youth Leader Program. Um, first, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and your role at GTA. Sure, my name is Michelle Cadet Perez. I'm the Community Relations Manager at GTA. And your name? My name is Lexis Sablon. I'm a 2020 to 2021 GTA Youth Leader and a recent graduate of Tizen High School. Nice. And we'll definitely get into your story and find out um, what prompted you to, to um, apply for the program. But first and for, foremost, um, why don't you first tell us about, I guess, how the idea for the Youth Leader Program started and, and a little bit more background on um, when it was established. Sure. So GTA, you know, we've been around for 70 years now, and so, you know, we've always looked to, to really enhance the, our future generation, right, and just really put our support behind that. So in 2019, we thought about creating a special program for our youth because, you know, we want our youth to reach their full potential. And so we created the Youth Leader Program. It actually started off um, where we, we awarded two youth leaders. But then we started getting such good traction as far as applicants coming in and, and youth really wanting to get involved. And so it was really nice to see because our first year we had about 30 applicants. Last year we had about 40, which was amazing because it was the pandemic. And this year we can really see that there's so much interest as, as far as um, you know the youth leader program. And it's it's been really nice to see its growth because there's so many of our youth that have that potential and, and uh, we just need to give them the, the, the right support and um, you know, just being able to, to give them uh, you know, a scholarship, which is $2,000 in an ASC trust account, plus a year of service for the latest and greatest phone, and about uh, up to 100,000 miles. At the time, it, was, it started off 100,000 airline miles, but this year we upped it to 160,000 to go to approved competitions. And you know, I was going to mention that in regards to growth um, with every year, what do you think that, um, what do you think sparked that increase in applicants? I think it's just, it's hearing the youth stories, right? So the youth leaders that we had the first couple years, it was Avi Don Raj, he was in, he was in the robotics team, national competition. Then we had Ostia Mediola, who's a star athlete also very involved in surf and, and just teaching and stuff like that. So I think when we started doing these stories with these youth leaders, it just sparked an interest of, hey, like I love to tell my story and be involved as a GTA youth leader. How can I get involved? So initially we thought the second year we were only gonna have two again, but the pool of talent was just amazing that we said, let's just up it to five. So. We have Lexis here, she'll tell her story, but um, we had Manami, who is a, a surfer and a star athlete. Uh, we had Jim Pamplona, who is, who is a recent graduate of Simon Sanchez. He's actually going to aeronautical school. Um, we also have Justine Chu. Um, you'll see our commercials and all our marketing, <laughs> but she's amazing in the violin. She's a violinist. She's gone to national competitions in Carnegie Hall and stuff like that. And then we also have Jenna Traster, who is really in, involved in Guam High, and she was a cadet. Um, and so it was just amazing to see the different talents that we do have on Guam. And it's just nice to see where they're going, too. I mean, a lot of them are off island, but they want to come back. And that's really what we're trying to do with this program, is to get them to grow and eventually come back and give back to our island. Don't go anywhere. More news extra when we return. Coffee and welcome back to News Extra. Tonight we're talking about GTA's Youth Leader Program and what are some of the benefits from applying. What made you decide to apply for the program? Right, so the list of benefits is not only appealing but very generous, such as um, the scholarship that Michelle mentioned and the free phone. Especially in these times, um, it's very important to stay connected with um, your peers and your mentors as a leader. And aside from the tangible ben benefits that we see on paper, there's also that platform that we're offered as a GTA youth leader. Um, in my case, I'm a strong advocate for women in STEM. And so um, getting to share my story and like having uh, little girls, I see um, me at myself as a uh, successful um, 
go in the field of like uh, competitive robotics, I hope to like inspire them and like be an inspiration for them, motivate them to get into the field despite any reservations they may have. I know one of the requirements when applying is to submit a 60 second video um, regarding uh, you know what you uh, the, the change that you want to do in the community. I guess could I could you enlighten us and do you remember what you submitted in your 60 second video? So in my 60 um, second video, I talked about how my experience in robotics as, because I was the only um, girl in my team, I went to Dubai and competed um, with the previous GTA user, Abby. And so I was the only girl on my team. I was the co-captain. And seeing the shortage of girls in the field of competitive robotics, on the, not only on the island, but in the like international space, uh, I wanted to be an advocate for women in STEM since it's a very uh, male-dominated field. And so I talked about uh, my experience in those um, robotics and uh, STEM and how I have been reaching out to girls. I was a, um, I was a Girl Scout uh, mentor and I was a teacher for um, a STEM um, robotics class, STEM camp. And so this is the way I was um, reaching out to the youth and sort of inspiring girls and like boys alike to get into the field. Nice. And can I ask what got you into to, to STEM and, and robotics? So at first I wasn't really a STEM person or like a science student. I was really against it until I was put into um, the robotics class at Antalan Middle School. It was a gifted and talented education program. And so I was just put into it like automatically. I didn't really know what I was gonna be doing in that. I didn't even know robotics was like a thing that you could get into so young. I thought it was just like a professional like thing you could get into like as a profession in like college. So that's when I started into like the Lego, the Lego robotics um, competitions and I captained my first team and I won and then that sort of gave me like a competitive high to like comp continue competing. And I just like um, progressed from there, I got into it in high school and then I was able to not only compete regionally but internationally like in Dubai. And so I chose computer science as my major because I like engineering and like the whole aspect of robotics, but I really wanted to focus on computer science. Nice. And I know you're going to be heading off to Columbia University, and what will you be majoring in? Computer science. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I just wanted you to say it. Coming up, more news extra. Keep it here. And we're back. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is News Extra, and tonight we are talking with GTA about their youth leader program and how high school students can apply. For GTA, like when you see um, these 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 people that are in this program, and you see them go off and they do big things, and then I guess how that has to be a great feeling for, for sure. Me. It's actually really nice because they reach out to us and say, hey you know, your airline miles got me here. This is what I was able to do. And I have to say, you know, I have kids too and everybody has kids. And so when I see the, pro the progress and everything that they've been able to do, like I honestly feel like I need to cry, right? <laughs> because it's just nice to see the talent that we have and as a company being able to support them to do what, you know, to reach their full potential. And I know that there's so many great things on Guam, right? But they have dreams. And so for us to be able to provide the avenue of being, getting them there and then them wanting to come back to Guam and use what they know and the knowledge and talent, like that means a lot to myself and to our company because it's like, wow, it's amazing. Like, like Jim, he's already in aeronautical school. He sent us pictures of where, you know, his new campus and him just going around sightseeing. It's like, wow, like they're going on to a new direction. And I said, I'm still, you're still going to be my friend, right, when you make it? <laughs> so it's, it's just amazing to see, like, and hear their stories. And uh, for us, it's only been on our, this is a going on our third year, but it's just nice to see because later on we're going to see them come back and say, man, like, we were able to help them. And they were able to use GTA as a platform to tell their story and get them to where they want to be. I know you mentioned these other, um, the, you know, that are off at already heading off to school and, and uh, or college. Um, what are some of the, I know that they, they all fall under categories. Um, could um, you go, yes. go through the well, categories? When we started the Youth Leader Program, it was really just open. So, uh, of course, a requirement would be a 3.5 grade point average. And then that's kind of where we took it. And then now this year we have different categories because we found that there were just so many different talented 
groups. Um, so we have a scholar athlete. Um, we have another category that's community. Um, and also a creative artist, so those who are really into art. Uh, we have another one for STEM, so like somebody like Lexus can apply for this. And then the last one is career and technical innovator, which is really, uh, we thought is necessary because people in culinary, people in mechanics, or people who want to be entrepreneurs, like this, this falls in a different category. And so um, we want to give them that avenue to say, hey, I, I have a chance to apply, like even though I, I'm in culinary, right, it's different, but um, that's why we thought, hey, we'll try this out and see how it works. But it's just amazing, like the, the people that have applied in the past, it's like it was really hard for us to choose our youth leaders last year, and they're just coming in. I mean, we're, we just announced it last week. Um, we have, I can't say how many yet, but it's, it's surpassing what, what we had thought. And our goal is to have 80 applicants, and it's 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 rising up there. So we're we're uh, we're happy about seeing the talent and uh, and all that stuff, and see how we can help them. So for those um, that are that are watching, obviously there is some time uh, to get in their applications. I know the deadline, I believe, is in October. Yes, October 8th is the last day to apply. So um, we really created this website. Like I said, in the first year, we didn't even have a website. It was kind of just like thought, okay, we'll just try this out, right? But we have a very sophisticated website where there's a form, um, as you mentioned, the 60-second 60, the 60 interview. So really, um, you're sitting there in your, in your house and it's like an interview, so you can record yourself. But we're also asking if you have uh, any videos you'd like to share too, like up to a minute also, of things that they want to share as far as like a video, right, on YouTube which they're much better at creating <laughs> videos than I ever was, or many of us, right? But they're so creative with their videos, and it's just nice to see them because not only could they be a scholar athlete, but they could be giving back to the community, and so we're really excited to see the entries this year. And it's geared towards, is there a, I know high schoolers, is it? Yes, as long as you're in a high school in Guam. Um, I know Avi was actually a homeschool student, but he won our award the first year. So as long as you meet, you meet the requirement of a 3.5 grade point average, um, and then you're a high school student um, enrolled in, in high school and, and whatnot, um, then that's really the requirement. And of course, just filling out the form online. And the website is gta.net slash youthleader2022. More about GTA's youth leader program when we return. Welcome back to News Extra. Tonight we are talking about GTA and how you can apply for the Youth Leader Program. Here's more. What did you learn from being part of this program? Or what did you gain from being part of this program? Definitely like the benefits listed, I, like I said, it was really generous. Um, and then like the platform, like getting to do these interviews with these news outlets and sharing my story and encouraging other students to apply. Yeah, that's definitely one, some, one of the things that I wanted to ask too is that for those that are around your age or high schoolers that are watching, what would you say to encourage them to, to apply for this program? Right, so there's really no harm in applying. The worst that can happen is you don't get in. And especially if you're an underclassman, there's always next year to, and other years to apply. Um, last year I applied and I didn't get in, but this year I did, obviously. And so, yeah, there's really no harm in um, applying. And there's really not much to it. Like, the 60, uh, the um, 60 second video might may seem daunting, but if you have like a passion, it really doesn't take much to like to talk about your passion and what you've done in like one minute. So, and yeah. it's really nice because Lexis mentioned she she applied. She was looking forward to this this uh, the announcement of our our applications opening up last year. She was so passionate about it that she called us, say, hey, are, you, are you guys gonna open up soon? <laughs> yes. Which is so amazing because you, know, you see the persistence in the youth that we have today. And as a company and as a community, we should still be able to find ways to support them because they're passionate, right? It's just us trying to get them there and use our resources. So that's uh, really why we created the Youth Leader Program. And, and I think that with you know, the, the the situation that we're currently in, this pandemic, I think that with students just kind of rolling back into school, getting a feel for things, that more will 
take the time to really, you know, they'll, they'll hear it and they'll probably see something and they're like, oh, you know, it's not going to be beneficial to me. But I think hearing like Lexus' story and, you know, um, their other stories, the success stories and how they're going, uh, you know, off island and they're attending college and, you know, with plans to, to come back and share their passion with others so they, you know, the, with others that have share the same passion. Um, you know, I'm sure that your, I know your goal was initially like 80. I, I'm almost certain that, you know, you're going to surpass the, those, that application. That For sure. And, you know, Joan, like we tried as best as we could last year to really enhance our youth, even though it was hard because mm -hmm. of the pandemic, right? So we actually uh, hosted a workshop with the youth leaders, uh, with an elevator, teaching them about elevator pitches and just purpose and, and all that stuff. So we try to really make it work for them, even if uh, we couldn't physically get together. Um, but, you know, it's it's just not only is it here are the benefits of being a GTA leader, but we want to use our resources internally to, to really um, give them the tools and tips and, and just guide them in the right direction. So it's really beyond just the benefits of uh, having a phone or a scholarship. It's really tried to to teach them and, and grow them and, and use uh, our talent to, you know, if it's technology or if it's about, um, you know, business or the business side of it or just being a, a person of purpose, that's really uh, what we're aiming to do with this program. And, and hopefully after the pandemic just kind of gets a little bit better, we definitely want to do more in-person stuff with our youth leaders, but that's what uh, we were able to do last year. So as, a, um, as we close, I guess, what um, information that would you like to get out to, to those that are watching? Sure. Um, first and foremost, please don't be afraid or intimidated um, by, by applying for youth theater. Uh, as Lexis mentioned, it's, it's really, you know, being passionate about wanting to do something. And she showed it so well. And that's why I remembered her. Like, <laughs> man, like she was, she was like really passionate. And that's what we try to look for in our youth, right? And all you have to do is just just submit. Um, if you have questions, email us at prsquad at gta.net. And then just go on our website and, and just apply. Like you, like Lexa said, it's there's no harm in trying. Um, but just put yourself out there and and um, we'll, we're excited to look, for, look at all the applications we get this year. Is there anything that you'd like to say in closing? Yeah, just good luck to the applicants. Really looking forward to see the selection um, this year, especially with the new categories that wasn't there um, last year. Um, because I really see the, I think the first things that I talked about with my other GTA, um, the youth leaders, was that uh, how we're all so different. We all have like different talents. We're all so passionate about um, the leadership and like inspiring our peers. So really excited to see um, which um, students get selected and to see all their talents and inspirations. Well, I wish you well on a successful uh, semester at Columbia University and and you know we're going to we're going to do what we should do a follow up we'll commit to a follow up yes, so when you come back we'll do a follow up and see how your semester went and how everything's going and and um, you can you know hopefully inspire others you know especially those that are in their senior year looking to what they want to do when they graduate and you know go off and um, Michelle it's always a pleasure to to sit down with you and to catch up and see all the great things that GTA is doing and continues to do for our community. Thank you so much for helping us get the word out. Of course, we, we need the help in getting the word out, but you know we're, we're just happy to be able to help where we can. And again, um, as we close out, the the website again, if they want to go GTA.net slash youth theater 2022. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, that's our program. Thank you so much for watching. Now remember, if there is something you'd like to see featured on the show, email me at joan at koam.com. Until then, be safe and have a great evening.